Many inventions change the face of our world, shaping our practices, customs, and the way we live. But what about those genius gadgets that never became mainstream? We want to take a look at some crazy devices that never made it. Let's shake some dust. Cars brought progress but also road casualties. To prevent this, several pedestrian safety scoops were designed during the 1920s, often attached to the radiator or the bumpers of the vehicle. When the scoop or the net touched an obstacle, it would automatically drop to the ground and push it away. It can be fitted to bumpers or take the place of them, and it folds neatly away when it isn't eating pedestrians. A flick of a lever and the scoop has another mouthful. When the scoop is open, a jaywalker simply can't get run over. Baby follows ball out of window, and mother just looks on. Believe it or not, this article was distributed among the members of the Chelsea Baby Club in London in 1937 as a solution for families without a garden. Patented in 1922 as a healthy antidote to growing children in crowded cities, it could also double up as a bed, incorporating removable curtains. You might be surprised, but this invention never quite took off thanks to those very grounded mothers. From now on, it's high society and life in a penthouse for her. In the early 1930s, when fascist Italy was suffering from financial sanctions, the country's propaganda publicized its self-sufficiency using their own resources. An Italian chemist, Antonio Ferretti, developed a successful method to make regenerated protein fibers. Lanital was a fabric made from casein, a major component in the making of cheese, for instance. Casein was processed with formaldehyde and metal salts and then pressed through spinnerets to form long silk-like fibers. Very much like milk. So in future you'll be able to choose between drinking a glass of milk and wearing one. During World War I, horses were used extensively for tasks like pulling ambulances or moving heavy artillery. Both sides started using gas as a warfare weapon, and protective equipment was gradually developed both for men and horses. It didn't go mainstream for long, no, because luckily horses are no longer used in military conflicts. Don't look now, ladies, but these girls are trying to get their fat down, put it plainly, and this is how they do it in the States. For some reason, this one doesn't sound so outdated, does it? That's right. Fitness vibrating belts stayed around till the mid-1970s, providing no scientifically proven weight loss to the millions who used it. The principle is quite a logical one. Instead of exercising the muscle yourself, you let the belt vibrate and exercise it for you. Perhaps that's why it's commonly known as the lazy option of fitness. However, several studies show that body vibration does not reduce weight or any type of body fat, unless one reduces the ingestion of calories. So the miracle of lose it by shaking it vanished, as well as the presence of these belts around gyms. In the early 30s, there was a boom in the exploration of wireless radios. Long before the transistor offered such an option, this radio hat was seen in the streets of Paris in 1931. Following today's notion of don't use it, wear it applied to technology, this radio hat offered the groundbreaking possibility of carrying music with you when Walkmans were not even a dream. For the benefit of motorists who haven't got a garage at home, we pay a visit to the home in Hampstead of Colonel Westland Wright for a really original and down-to-earth idea for housing a car. A garage in the front garden that disappears when it's not wanted. Those lucky enough to have space in front of their house had to choose between having a garden or a garage. But not with these inventions. During the 50s, several solutions tried to break the frustration of having to choose between the two, from foldable instant garages to sophisticated platforms that could hide underground. Unfortunately, in our days, only Batman and 007 can enjoy the privilege of a hidden garage. The things we do to keep young. The relationship between science and beauty treatments has always been a strange one. Since Marie and Pierre Curie discovered radium in 1898, it started being used for medical and commercial applications. The radioactive mask is a good example of why applications should never run faster than research. Thankfully, nowadays beauty treatments look more and more at science to check and control the purity of natural products, rather than to create health-damaging, scary gizmos. But it's a delicate treatment that calls for very exact timing. She mustn't be overcooked. And these were just a few inventions that never made it to our days. Bold, ingenious, ridiculous, you name it. But remember, 
most useful devices were initially taken for a loony idea.